Hi there, I'm Clint Smith, and I'm the host of Crash Course Black American History. I'm a writer, a teacher, and a doctor. No, not the kind who can help you if you have some sort of serious medical issue. More like the kind who spent way too many years holed up in the basement of the library, reading books on race, inequality, education, and history, before getting the letters PhD behind my name. So, while I can't perform open heart surgery, I can tell you a lot about how slavery shaped the course of American history and the ways it's been taught in our schools. This series will move from the moment enslaved black people first arrived on the shores of the American British colonies in 1619, all the way through the Black Lives Matter movement that has pushed this country to more fully reckon with all that it has done to black people and to more fully acknowledge all that black Americans have contributed to its history. We should probably begin by addressing the name of the course itself, Black American History. Over the course of American history, the language used to describe black people has changed and evolved over time and will no doubt continue to change and evolve moving forward. Across the United States today, the term black and African American are often used interchangeably. And there's a good chance that we'll use them interchangeably here as well. Typically, African American is meant to refer to people of African descent who were born in or are living in the United States. In the US, there are black people whose ancestors were enslaved many generations ago and who are unable to trace their lineage to a specific place of origin. And there are black people who immigrated to the United States just a few years ago from countries all over the world. While people's histories and experiences may be different, each of these groups of people and everyone in between is black. And that plurality of experiences is both a remarkable and just a beautiful thing. As we'll discover, there's a great deal of fluidity with regard to how these terms are used and who they apply to. And delving into this will really help us understand how race is a social construct, but also one that has very real cultural, sociological, and political implications. Part of why this show is so important to me personally is that when I was younger, I felt like I didn't have the language or the toolkit with which to fully understand and make sense of what this country had done to black people over the course of centuries. I didn't know that 12 of our first 18 presidents owned enslaved people. I didn't have the language to understand how redlining and government-sponsored housing segregation shaped the landscape of contemporary America. I didn't know that New Deal legislation and the GI Bill after World War II purposely left out millions of black people from accessing its benefits, basically trapping them in intergenerational poverty while millions of white Americans received those benefits, giving them a leg up into purchasing homes, attending and graduating college, and moving comfortably into the middle class. The sorts of things that have long-term intergenerational implications. I didn't know these things because no one told me. No one taught us this in school. And when I did learn it, many years later, it was so important. It was so freeing because it helped me better understand why our country looks the way that it does today. It helped me understand that the disparities black people experience in this country are not because there is anything wrong with black people, but because of everything that has been done to black people over the course of generations. Now, it should be said that sometimes when people think about black history, they think only of slavery and oppression. And while slavery is deeply, deeply important, trust me, I wrote a whole book about it, to understanding how black Americans first arrived here en masse, how the United States developed its early economy, and why so much inequality persists between black and white Americans across the board, it would also be a mistake to conflict the story of black life in this country singularly with the issue of slavery. Which is to say, naming the centrality of slavery to the American project can be done without falling into the trap of suggesting that black history begins and ends with slavery. Black history is more than slavery. It is more than Jim Crow apartheid. It is more than oppression. And while we will obviously be addressing these issues directly because they are central to understanding how this country came to be what it is, we will also be talking about black art, black literature, black cultural traditions, and all that black people have created and accomplished in spite of centuries of both interpersonal and structural violence. Black American history is as much about the joys and celebrations and traditions of black life as much as it is about being able to name and identify the ways that this country has long subjugated black people. They are not and have never been mutually exclusive. In fact, they go hand in hand. That being said, we want to note that this series will address topics that can be challenging to discuss. 
but we believe it is important to cover them thoroughly so that we can fully grapple with the reality of U.S. history. When watching this course, you will encounter some information that may be sensitive and disturbing, but we'll also try to let you know when there are extreme cases. Over the course of this show, we will do our very best to capture the various dimensions of the Black experience. But because we only have 50 episodes to tell these stories, there will inevitably be some things that are left out. This show is not at all meant to be a definitive history of Black American life. It is meant to be just one contribution to a much wider conversation that has been happening among scholars, writers, activists, and citizens for generations. There's going to be a lot to learn over the course of this show and a lot to unlearn. But what we hope you come to understand is that Black history is not peripheral to American history. It is central to it. Black history is American history. So let's go. Crash Course is made with the help of all these nice people and our animation team is Thought Cafe. Crash Course is a complex lead production. And if you'd like to keep Crash Course free for everybody, forever, you can support the series at Patreon, a crowdfunding platform that allows you to support the content that you love. Thank you to all our patrons for making Crash Course possible with their continued support.